Good morning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to the vlog. Here we are today in the brewery. And it is a Saturday, and I'm here to put the second coat down. As you can see, I can walk on it now because it's gone off. But I'm going to put a second coat down on the blue paint. Uh, it wasn't quite dry enough yesterday to do it which uh, worried me and I spent all day yesterday working on the electrics in the pub which I'll show you later on but uh, before we open I decided to upgrade all the electrics so everything's protected with an RCD or actually an RCBL and then whilst I'm a competent electrician I'm not qualified in terms of holding the City and Guilds Level 3 to sign off an inspection document such as an EICR so I'm going to get the work up to spec and then we'll call in a Sparky to sign it off to do an e a full e EICR so we know that the electrics in the pub are all functioning before we open and they are above spec not just to spec but better than spec and unfortunately I had to decommission a couple of circuits which I found were not suitable to pass but that's something else we'll talk about later on. Uh, what I'm doing now is sticking this other coat of paint on quickly and then it should be dry for Monday when we come to empty these tanks. I've just noticed that they are off. I'm going to have to get under there and turn the RCD back on. I had the electric off here yesterday as well. So it's one of those things that's been left off overnight. It shouldn't really be a problem. Anyway, let's... Uh, Let's get this coat of, uh, it's not paint is it, it's resin. Let's get this resin down and, and get cracking like. Because we've got plenty to do today and it is Saturday after all. You certainly don't need a gym subscription when you're rolling this stuff out in the morning. Whew. I'm toasty now. Anyway, let's go next door and explore this uh, electrical circuit just a little bit. I'll explain to you what I'm doing and why indeed I'm doing it but yeah the lion's share of the floor is complete just a few other bits to finish off when it, this section's gone off and I think the floor will be completed by oh, I hasten to say second week in April maybe so into the dungeon we go Let's illuminate on the way. Okay, right here. So obviously we've got power on still. But if we have a look at the CU, we've got a stripped bear. Now I'll preempt you in the comments. I know everyone's going to say, you shouldn't be touching it, you're not a qualified electrician. No, I'm not. I don't have the qualifications on paper. And I probably don't have the skills of a fully, you know, a, a, an electrician that works full time doing electrics. But I'm competent and I do understand what I should and shouldn't be doing and how it should be done. In fact, I've even got the blue book upstairs, 18th edition no less, to help me along the way. But what I'm doing with this board is I'm replacing all of the... Uh, MCBs which are unbranded like we've got a Protec here this is a Hager board and I'm replacing them all with Hager RCBOs so all the circuits including lighting will be protected these three phase circuits here they're just going to be MCBs we're going to have three of them I'm waiting for another one to come in because this is a Wilex MCB and I'd like to have Hager in there. I've also um, put rubber grommets in all of the cutouts that they've made because there wasn't any before. We are also rerunning the terminations making sure that the route is uh, proper and that for instance whatever's on circuit 10 corresponds to uh, the neutral wire going into number 10 and the earth wire going into number 10 as well 
we're doing uh, full impedance testing on all the circuits uh, insulation resistance testing everything that I know how to do and then we're going to get it all installed and we're going to get it all finished off and then we're going to get a spark in and he's going to do an EICR on it and you might say well why are you doing it all now if you're going to pay for somebody to come and do it I know that there's work that needs to be done on this to bring it closer to spec than it was before in fact it was a bird nest before a lot of the tails are short and all that kind of stuff so I'm doing that because we need to save on the cost of an electrician doing a full re well installing an OCU basically so if I get everything looking nice and neat and he comes in and he says spot on don't need to do any work she's passed we're good to go or if there's anything that I've missed it ain't gonna cost the earth to get it fixed so there we go that's my thinking anyway it's just little things like for instance this uh, three-phase cable here running over to the uh, cellar cooler and then they've come off the cellar cooler when the guys installed this and they've just taken a single phase out well we don't need a three-phase box there for instance so I was initially just gonna take that off and put a boot on because it hasn't got a boot on it but uh, in retrospect I'm not I'm gonna get rid of that three-phase socket and we'll just run a single twin and earth or something across there or we might even terminate this straight into the fuse board we'll see or the, or the consumer unit um, and yeah as I was saying with these three phase uh, MCBs they don't have any RCD protection on them at the board but if we go through here and we have a look at the socket which I installed for them there we go so we've got isolation at the socket and also I can't open it we have RCD protection inside the panel mounts so that there is going to protect the circuit obviously it's not energized that's going to protect these two outlets and we've got them upstairs on any three phase electrics going into the kitchen as well so every circuit that'll be every circuit in the pub will be earth fault protected with an RCD and I'm also obviously testing everything else uh, as I go so it looks good I think I can do a decent job on this there was a ring main running upstairs which I found one leg of the ring is actually uh, shot so we'll, we've lost some sockets in that respect which is a shame but uh, I want to see if I can come up with a solution to it and then there's a load of wires just dangling around everywhere which don't actually do dick so I need to figure out what they do why they're here and if they're not any use I'm gonna pull them out and get rid of them right then folks This is the reason why we're doing the test. So this is a ring main, or it was a ring main, until I split the ring. Sailor. So what's happening is we've got a insulation resistance fail on that meter. And I've managed to isolate every single accessory that's on that particular meter this one here which then adds spurs up onto here and finally this down here so we've connected all the tails so it looks like it's just still a ring and when I connect that neutral together we get the fault so I'm thinking right one of the tails comes up there from the consumer unit it goes all the way around over to there comes over to here somehow and then back to the board and the fault is between here actually that it comes up over it comes up that way round and it comes around here and then across this 
under the floor here. So it's the linkage between that socket and that socket that's the problem. So I'm trying to think what's going on. There's a funny read in here and there aren't any more accessories. So I thought, and then it occurred to me that if we go downstairs and into the toilets, you will see in the gents, we conveniently have a spur dropping down pretty much smack bang where that socket is above us. This is the same back wall and this spur is obviously running this dryer which I installed so I know that that is fine. Uh, I just used the normal cable that was in there, the original cable, I just put no accessory on. So we've taken this apart, I've realised, I've figured out that one of these goes up to the socket up there and the other one goes back to the consumer unit. So this is the last accessory, penultimate accessory on this side of the ring. And then before that goes across to the socket, it goes up to that socket and then across to here again, we find in the ladies a similar thing. And this is directly below the one that's got the erroneous reading on the neutral cable, or the black in this case, but look, these aren't the same cables. This is a new cable. I can move it up and down. It doesn't move up the top. What's going on? There has to be a junction box in the floor space or stroke ceiling space somewhere. So we figured it out. There's definitely something going on upstairs under the floor. So the only way, if you can kind of have a look, back there on this side is where we saw the the, the junction box, the fused spur, and then this side is the wall. Look, there's the window, there's the wall. So the socket is like there. So let's go, making you feel a little bit dizzy, I know, but let's go around here and have a look. Look, there's the window down here. Is the socket and there is the base of my bar effectively our cabinets and fridge but also laminate floor and floorboards and somewhere under there is going to be the bastard junction box that's cocking over our day that some fuckwit Sparky's probably put down there and done a fucking piss poor job of it. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna clear this fridge out. It's only got a few tonics in. I'm gonna pull all this decking out and I'm gonna pull the floor up because although it's convenient having these sockets here, we could lose them. We could lose them. But that also supplies power to our lights out front. So there is one other way of doing it and this 1.5 mil cable that's out of zone would carry power for the lights if I needed to. Uh, but I don't know. I could just do that actually. But then we we'll lose these sockets. But I uh, know then that means that the lights have to be turned on. These lights have to be on all the time inside if I want the lights on outside. And that wouldn't work really, I don't think, because they're on a sensor, you see? So what's the point in having the sensor? Anyway, I've made up my mind. This fridge is coming out. I'm going in and this floor's coming up. Oh, this is no good for the knees after a week of grinding floors. Right, we've got a piece out. Fortunately, we've hit two rafters, so putting a piece of floorboard in here is not going to be a problem. But, what's that on there, you might ask? 
Yeah, it looks like a bit of water damage. Well, the fucking Sparky's only gone and cut for a water pipe, hasn't he? The fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that for a random pipe just bending. Look at the bend on her. Oh, all over the place. Absolutely shocking. But fortunately, we've got a little repair up there, if you can see it. There it is. So I'll just patch that up. You know, the wee leak. Just a little one, like. Anyway, we can see several cables running in several different directions. And looking at that one, that looks to me like the one that's running over to that socket over there. So, see if I can get this other piece of board up. Or I might be able to look down the way. In fact, you'll probably get a first view. Is there... Is there a what do you call it down there? What's it called? A junction box. Oh gosh, it's really quite difficult to see, isn't it? There's got to be something down there. I think further investigation required. Oh look, there's another pipe joint. Somebody must have done the same as me. For fuck's sake! Look at that. I was coming out of that. Jesus. I mean, it's 99p for an elbow, man. Christ, on a bike. You have to ask the question, don't you? I'd never not drop the phone down here. No, I'd never get it back, would I? Anyway, light off. Let's do some more investigating. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a fucking palaver that was. So, in the end, there was no junction box down there. So... To cut a long story short, we have power coming up from the circuit board, from the consumer unit over there, and then he comes then uh, over here to, well actually there's a junction under the floor that way somewhere, but what was happening was uh, the ring main comes over here and fed the ladies toilets hand dryers and then it went back across to the other socket in that far corner and from that socket in that far corner to there that wire was failing the test it was dodgy it's damaged somewhere. I don't know how or why, but it's damaged. So what we've done is cut that out completely. So now instead of having a ring main, we've got two, uh, what do you call it? Oh God, what they're called. You know in the comments anyway. So one of them comes up here and it feeds that socket there. Those sockets on the wall and the ladies hand dryer and the gents hand dryer and then the other piece of cable the other side of what was the ring main comes up uh, over here it comes up there actually and then it comes over here over here over here and that's where it's been cut this section between here and here and then back down to the fuse board so yeah radials that's the thing so now instead of having a ring we've got two radial sockets circuits so i'm changing the fuses the rcbo's come on it's been a long day changing them i'm going to down rate them to 16 amp on each one a 30 milliamp trip and that should protect us moving forwards we only really ever have uh that lamp plugged in to here which is just pull in a few watts and this fridge so or maybe the ice machine so 16 amp is more than adequate for that and then on this side we only run these two sockets which generally have laptops plugged into them or phone chargers as you can see with the USB chargers even though they're a bit they're a bit duff I'm going to put a grommet on there as well while it's on my mind. 
and then also the lights outside are also fitted onto there uh, so there's a few things I'm going to change like this here I'm going to change the termination I'm going to get rid of this piece of earth sleeve in and put one separate for each each conductor so they're not twinned together and just make everything look nice and pretty with its own up to spec pieces of uh, wiring and you know so the day ain't over yet but that circuit is complete I'm going to leave these boards up until I've done all the other testing actually because I can see there's quite a lot of cables just run along there they could be lighting cables for the gents toilets for the ladies toilets fan cables for the extractors all that kind of stuff so I suppose it is beneficial if I'm able to access them at least over here should a fault be found but I'm going to continue now uh, putting all the face plates back on and going through everything else the sockets have passed which is well great news as far as I'm concerned because I was really getting quite worried I couldn't fault find it but I did in the end for fuck's sake what a day it's been what a day well I'm wrapping it up with one of these bad boys mmm it's fucking awesome that stuff and when I'm done I think uh, we might move on to this hey what do you reckon <laughs> fucking hell why not boys why not anyway I've removed that radiator I've uh, repaired the pipe work, as you can see there. Also repaired the cable. I'm just waiting for a uh, a box to go around that, so it's secondary insulated. Uh, all done, pretty much. You know, I've been putting the stuff back on the walls, even though that's about as straight as I am. It's all looking pretty good. That socket's back on, the socket in the corner's back on. All been tested. R1, R2. Uh, everything. Everything has been tested. And uh, we're off chart high. With resistance, insulation resistance testing. And uh, I'm pretty pleased with how it's gone. In the end it kind of worked. And all of our circuits on this was ring are back to normal and we've got the added bonus of getting rid of that radiator so the fridge will sit a little bit further back into the recess that was always a little bit of a problem um, and at the time it was just left there and isolated from the supply which is why I've not really lost any water out of it simply so we could get the place open as quick as possible it was just one of those things you know but there it is it's completed now so I'm just uh, Having a walk around the place, contemplating what to do next. And, yeah, I'll be going home soon. It's uh, it's approaching 7 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. So, I can't really finish this electrical testing until Monday, Tuesday, when all of my RCBOs turn up. But what I can do is uh, get the wiring and everything else tested. And then it's just a matter of waiting, I believe. I may as well take that. Let's see if we can get this pipe out a little bit as well. I wonder if it's got a bend on it. Oh, it's going to get stuck into it. For fuck's sakes. That's not connected to anything now. But they've put them through such small holes. I'm probably not going to get that out one handed. I might just have to get the cutter on it. Send it through the other way. Anyway, that's it, folks. Isn't it weird, hey? Isn't it weird? We're stuck in here and uh, everyone else is open. Supermarkets are open, takeaways are open. Yeah, Wales is even open. And we're stuck in here. Oh well, it is what it is. That's me finished, I think. I'm going to go home and get a shower. I'm covered in shit. Uh, but it's been a good day. It's been a really good day and... Well, we've potentially saved a life there by finding that dodgy cable and removing it from the circuit. It was it was a good move. Right, there we go, folks. I'm going to put my tools away, so 
we don't get any lucky loos peering through the window trying their luck on to pinch them that would be awful and then I'm gonna go home there it is folks see you on the next one cheers a bit of a higgledy piggledy vlog but a vlog nonetheless I'm sure you'd rather have something than nothing we'll see you on the next one cheers